Okay, so yes, uh, somebody asked, this is uh, half hearted. Half a heart. Ah! This is our half hearted hardcore world. Uh, let's start the day by going up to the top of this. I'm just chilling out, looking out, see if we can see something out there. We, last time we built out this farm, it was like maybe a third of the size to where this wall is. We expanded all the way up here and then we built this whole thing because we just had some random little bits in here. The point of this is to trade enough to get enough emeralds to get enormously good gear, basically. Oh yeah, I took all of these away because the, they all lost their... Dang, they all lost their workstations again. That's right, I remember now. Yeah, we need to we need to sort this out so we get them into like their own little trading stations and stuff some how pretty soon. Yeah. Cause otherwise they're not gonna Okay. Yeah, that's gonna take some doing, isn't it? I actually do need to fix that before I can do harvest and trading and stuff because Otherwise, they're not going to restock, so it's not going to help to trade much. Alright, so what we need to do is we need to take, basically take away all the beds, and then lock the... <laughs> sounds horrible. Lock these guys into a little chamber with their own stuff only. Alright, so... The one remaining house in the village is going bye-bye. So at one point, I had the uh, kind of plan here to replace this entire place with a like a castle like building and then we'd build like floors and we'll build chambers in there however last time i replaced the entire walls with glass because it's just too big of a strategic advantage to not like have your view blocked so one thing we could do to begin this is we could replace the entire ground with some better material than sand because the sand is kind of sketchy and then we could do this pattern that we did with the jackal lanterns to light it up and we don't have to have this torch spam everywhere and that also not only does it improve the like aesthetics or whatever it also means that it has an actual advantage in that i can't easily accidentally destroy these So we're starting to get a bit of a space. If we do one more this way, maybe we keep doing this row actually. So we have like this way all the way down there. Then we have the space to start putting down the uh, the beds and the workstations to get them kind of enclosed. I think that will be good. Uh, okay, so that guy took that bed again. So that's cool. Wondering trader mumbles. Oh, hi. We have a visitor. And what did we get? We got a uh, cat. Okay, fine. Ah, uh, cat, sit down. Uh, I got something. I got a feather. Okay, cool. We should talk to that wandering trader, actually, see what he got. Should we just let you in? Maybe we'll just let you in. It would actually be fantastic to let you in without your llamas. Perfect. <laughs> now you're gonna, you're gonna freak out, my man. Sea pickles.
So now what we need to do is we need to get the villagers all into their own little section. So we kind of need... Like, you're trying to get to here to steal this? Or why are you here? You're unemployed. Okay, I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do this. Okay, cool. So now, now we've stolen... Oh, no, wait. Yeah. Yeah, so now we've stolen all of the work uh, places. This is kind of a setup that works. We can still trade with the guy. But he's actually stuck in there now. On the other hand, this would completely block my view. No, <laughs> everybody struggles with villagers. <laughs> Trust me, it's not, it's not, it's not you, it's them. Uh, maybe I'll make this out of glass instead. So now we need them to go in there and we need to put these in too. But I have no idea where the Fletcher Man is. Hello Fletcher Man. No, you're, you're a new one. Where's the other one? Dramatic music. See? No, you're not. What? What was that? Do you have me clip that or something? I didn't see what it was. I just saw the iron golem fighting a thing. I mean, it... Pigman, I would guess too, yeah, but. It looked like it was not there. It looked like it was over here to me. Rather than over here. There's no loot. Okay. Uh, time, time, time. It's a little time. I'm gonna go up. We're gonna go up. And we're gonna look and see if there's... Some hints. Okay, that... Zombie pigman and check the clip. Thank you. <sighs> okay. Okay, so portal spawned a zombie pigman. And it got yeeted by a golem. That's okay. No, are you kidding me? This is not the dude. This is a glitched out dude. You, my man, you, you get the heck out of there. So you, we actually want to get you ri get rid of your profession. <sighs> okay. Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> my friends. Holy crap. Because you're the one that we actually want in here. You. Why is the other dude not releasing his profession, I wonder? It's probably because... Okay. Oh, of course you had to... Get... Get out of here. You. Get... Oh, you want to go to your workstation. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, you're the... You're the, you're the guy. You're the guy. I want... Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. <gasps> it worked. Okay. And the other guy is no longer a cleric. And you are the wrong one. Get. Why are you all here? Why? So you are the fortune guy. Could you just like step in here? Can you step in here, please? Just. Please, please, just, just a moment, just a moment. No. Oh, you had to, did you? Oh. So one thing we could do is just wait for nighttime. Uh, put up a whole bunch of these, like, booths. And then... Whenever they go to bed, we just put the right workstation next to them. It'll mean that we have to be awake a little bit at night, so this is a little dangerous, I guess, but... It's gonna be super much less frustrating than this is, <laughs> so... Okay, so you're a what? You're oh. That's the problem though. For the Oh wait, no wait. Dude! That's not cool. You're sta Oh I'm sorry, am I like interrupting it? A... You have nothing. You're an actual one that we want. And then there are free beds! And the guys They're just having an intimate moment. Don't look at it. I'm sorry. 
Why aren't they letting go of their workstations? Because now they definitely can't pathfind to them. Oh wait, maybe they still have some over here? Yeah, they do. Okay. So these need to go away. And you're horrible, but the... Oh, there's a bed over here. The, um... They're not hostile during daytime, so this kind of should be okay. Might just take him out. What? <gasps> okay, I did not quite quite expect that. Did not really pay attention to where I was standing. Oh. <sighs> hey, Luca. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Oh my lord. Okay. Let's try that again, shall we? Um, we'll do this. Yeah. So we'll do this, and then we'll just put, put a thing down. And this guy... Whoa! Okay. Cool. <laughs> I'll take it. With a risk that he'll actually pop back on the other side of the, the wall when he wakes up, but it's fine. Alright, I need to go bed, to bed myself. The other ones, since they're having, you know, intimate moments with each other, we'll have to deal with later. So I just need you to not step away one more. Thank you. I need you. I want a glass block right where I'm standing. <sighs> just okay. kill one of the golems. Oh yeah, thanks. Good tips. I need I need one more glass block here. Thank you. Oh, okay. The good part about this is the golems can now not make it in here. They're like physically too large to make it in here. I want this here. Why are you just standing there? Just... Dude, the other way. Why are... Okay. Um... What if I... Block this? Go to bed. Thank you. Give me that bed. I, I really want to go to bed. It's dangerous. We made it! Don't want you on the bed. Get out off the bed. Thank you. Don't want this. Okay. We're gonna go up. Just to see that we are... We don't have a spider chilling ready to drop on our face. There's a spider up there. That's the nitwit. That's a patrol. That's a problem. They are not gonna despawn. I do not know if I count as being in the village at this point. So if I shoot them from here, I might instantly trigger a raid. That would be bad. That means that what I need to do is I need to go down and get out of the village. I need to get far enough away that I'm definitely not counted towards in the village. I need to kill them and then drink the milk. Wait, is that guy like stuck on there? So there's one guy stuck on that house. That that's great. They get I, they probably spawned there, so he's stuck on that house. So that means going out that way is actually dangerous. And there's <laughs> the rest of them walked off in this general direction, but I don't see them now. Okay, so we know that guy's there. You need to remember that. Probably the best thing I can do is exit through this door, go over to to kind of here-ish, shoot that guy. Go over around this way, shoot those guys. I really want to see where they are. I don't dare to jump. Well, I can jump up here. Yeah, I don't know where they went. There's. Ooh, okay. That's kind of terrifying. They, they go down into the dang pyramid. Okay, this. This actually got a lot worse. That's. 
Maybe they fell in the ravine and died? I doubt it, but we're gonna have to go though. Like that guy's... That guy is in too bad of a spot for us to just like not do anything now. So we're gonna have to go. There's an iron golem out there. This looks reasonably safe. And by reasonably safe, I mean still fucking terrifying. Go! You're not. You're not triggering. I want to be reasonably close to this iron golem. Because that means I do not risk somebody, something else sneaking up on me. Alright. I am misjudging this by quite a bit. Okay, that didn't make it better. I actually do need you to die before you get in range of me. Preferably right now. So he lost track of me. That's what happened. It's also extremely hard to hit at this distance because he keeps walking around. Okay, so that's good. Can't take too much of a wonder over there because of that. What do I have? 50 seconds. So it must have been that guy that was on this house, because I should see him from here otherwise. I'll circle around this way. Yeah, I should see him from here for sure. So the other guys just wandered off this way. This is super sketchy. Okay, we'll go further. I have no visibility. Great. We're about to lose the absorption. I need another one. They could have fallen into one of these holes. Should have heard them. I cannot see them. I They're still around somewhere. Good timing. Thank you for the bits. Holy crap. Where did you go? Might be a thing that they actually do despawn, but like there's some cases where they don't. And while we're here, yeah, there's definitely no way that something can get in here. Check inside the pyramid. Oh god, yeah, you <sighs> You're both right, and that's the most terrifying thought ever. But if they are like stuck in the pyramid, I don't care. They could at any point jump up, but I saw them walk up in that direction though, that's the thing. I I literally saw them walk up towards there. I think we'll I think we'll be I think we'll we'll leave it. I think we're fine. <sighs> Try ringing a bell? That's true, but the, the, the range is so close on it, but... That, that didn't highlight anything. You can get so much of this stuff. I think probably the best method of getting XP that we have now is to actually harvest and trade. It's not like... As... Oh my lord! You're gonna harvest more than a double chest of... Uh, of bamboo for each one. We need one more. Cool. Good. And we level 30. Nice. Oh no. 
Okay, well, I guess we'll break all of them and unlock the guy with books. <laughs> oh, no. Why? Why did you do that? Oh, that's so horrible. Okay, but we hit level 30 at least. It's gonna be a big upgrade. Hopefully you get something more, but you never know. Here we go! Level 30. Not any better. <laughs> You say you could now survive cow pets. Ouch! The burn! It hurts us, I need that fire protection. Uh, okay. <laughs> Thank you! There we go. Spinny! And now we can buy Lapis from you. Which we probably want to do until we unlock the guy, because we're never going to trade gold. <laughs> and we need the Lapis. So we might as well just... Uh, hey, we're level 30. Perfect. And we unlocked you. Which is the level? Let's see. It might be this level. No, it's next level. We need one more level. And then we find out if all of this was for nothing. <laughs> we could trade you the rabbit's foot. Let's do that. We're never going to use those for anything. Hey, cats were useful. So six rabbit's feet. Just go kill Pikmin for gold. So simple. It's all so simple. Look at that. Please trade pearls. <gasps> yes. We're going to need to buy so many of these. It probably makes sense to do that right away. But we're going to sleep first. But it probably makes sense to do it right away because we're going to need so many of them. It's at least better than what we have. It's... Kind of garbage, actually. It doesn't matter, though. Like, there's nothing else I really want on it, but the thorns are never going to be really useful. These bookshelves are never going to be useful as bookshelves. So what I'm going to do now, I guess, is just... We're going to break them all. If there aren't iron golems in our way. So we, like... We'll either want to trade books or enchant books. So... Won't need them as shelves. Could you, like, not be here right now? That would be fantastic, so I don't accidentally hit you. Should not have put them here. <laughs> That's terrible. Okay, so that's a whole ton of books. We'll keep a bunch, because we will need to probably enchant a bunch of books. Might want to sell the rest? This is still this horrible person here. <laughs> Probably worthwhile, to be honest. There we go. Gives us a bunch of XP, so we're now 29, and we'll unlock... Oh, 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 this changes everything! This is exactly how much we have. <laughs> this means we can make good boots. The sword is definitely the way to go. Like, look at that. <laughs> it's eating up this poor sword. <gasps> oh my lord. <laughs> Rip! It's gone. <laughs> oh, worth it. Worth it. So much fun. <laughs> what are you? Oh, you must have spawned in there. No. No, that's one of the ones we had. How, you, how did you get in there? You, how did you get on? I don't even. I don't even know. But we need the guy that he's kind of jumping on, so that's cool. Walked up the book. Oh, because of the bookcases, and that's how he ended up there. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Okay, sketchy, but we'll try it. Okay, so that worked. The question is, where are you going now? Are you you're gonna drop in with that villager, aren't you? Okay, so you're doing you're doing good. You're doing good. If you can just like get your your ass out here into the open, that would be great. Uh, so if I if I give you a way down like here, will you go there? No. I really don't want the others to go up there either. Please. But the other option is I go up there and try to shove him out. Oh, whatever. 
yeah, it's a little problematic because our XP farm at the moment it consists of trading stuff. So we're kind of limited by farms. I guess we can keep doing the, the floor pattern here for a moment while we wait. So it's kind of bad, but it's better than what we had, so we'll do it. We smelt down these things for a nugget, I guess. For now, we'll just do this. We'll go find a diamond, get it with that, and then we'll make a sword and get looting on that. That's really good. Considering what you're doing, I was surprised it was the thing, yeah? Oh, baby, here we go. Uh, I guess we should, we should do diligence. We should clear these out so we know we're not going to lose them to anything. Back off. It's a full eight. It's a full eight of diamonds. How many do you think? How many will I get? Place your bets. Fortune three, eight diamonds. Bets in the chat. Oh, a level 25. Nice. We got 19. That's uh, will run for fun. Hit it right on the 19. Nice. Okay, well, that means we're done. We don't have to care more about mining for today. Anyway, this will give us our looting. This is super important. If we're lucky, it'll give us something. Oh, it's only looting two on diamond. Oh no. Oh no, that's terrible. Oh no. I think the best thing we can do is actually take this. Oh, this is something really good on a book, I suppose. I don't think there was. I think we looked at everything. There isn't. I think we'll take it, because having looting two in a pinch is better than having nothing. But still diamond. So we could put sharpness five on this, and it's still a really solid weapon. And then we can upgrade it to looting three by another looting two enchant, which is really good. Like, it's easier to get. Knockback 2 as well. That's decent. Ooh, did we have... Okay, we did have enough. Cool. So, pants time. Fire protection. Great. Okay. So, these are actually exactly what we want. And then we want the second pair that we're going to get by just buying them. Uh, which we can buy one pair now, actually. We'll give us some XP. So we're going to buy two of these. It's going to get us Protection Protection 4 when we combine them. That's just fairly expensive. Uh, but that will uh, put us in a situation where we can have Protection Protection 4 on them in the Overworld. And then when we go to the Nether, we'll switch to Fire Protection 4. But it hinges on that we have Protection 4 on Boots. Alright, so we're not quite there yet, but we're very close. It's, uh, this is going to be fine. But, we've uh, ran quite far. Uh, we've done... This is... this uh, Beautiful! Look at this. So much diamond. Shiny, shiny diamond. Uh, we've made a ton of progress today. This, we're actually a lot safer. 